Charles has arrived in Germany on his first overseas state visit since ascending the throne. The king will spend three days in Berlin alongside Camilla, the queen consort. Charles was originally supposed to be visiting Paris, but canceled the first leg of his trip due to the ongoing protests there. CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman, is standing by with more details for us. Good morning, Paul. Good to see you. Tell, tell us more about the king's first state visit to Germany. What's the significance <laughs> and what do you think he'll say when he addresses parliament there? Hello, Marcia. Well, you know, it's not quite the trip that he planned, but it really is the king's introduction to the world, I guess. And interestingly, it's happening in Europe, which is important to keep that connection between the United Kingdom and Europe after what happened with the Brexit vote here. So I think that's probably why he was intending or wanted to go to Europe in the first place on his first trip. Given all the honors of the German state, he will speak to the German uh, Bundestag tomorrow, probably speak both in German and in English. Uh, Prince Charles, King Charles speaks German, we understand, and uh, he'll be doing that, which is quite significant. Um, he, um, he spoke to the Bundestag years ago as prince, but this time, of course, it's going to be the monarch and that's going to make all of a difference. And so it really is, um, I think it's an important trip for the royals, uh, an important way to see or to set their foot off on, you know, the first leg of their long journey as, you know, the royals of this kingdom here. Why do these visits matter? And, and Paul, we should also point out that while he's visiting hmm. Germany in an important trip there, his son, Prince Harry, is back in the UK blasting the royal family once again as he is in court. Uh, fighting against the British tabloids. Mm. So back to my first point, why are these visits important for the king to be out there and to be so visible in public? Well, it's waving the British flag to a certain degree, waving the flag of the royal family. He's got German connections, don't forget. A number of German cousins will be at uh, the banquet tonight. I think the banquet is tonight. So it's just important for the royals to be out there. They go as emissaries of the British government. That's, that's, their, that's their job, really. And so this is the first time that they're able to do that. And he can introduce Camilla, which, is, which he's never really done before. She is now known as the Queen, of course. And so it's king and queen off to see the world. Uh, you know, Canadians, of course, when when. King Charles comes to visit, and he certainly will, it will be the same thing and for the same reason, just very important to visit these countries in the Commonwealth, for example. Germany's not in the Commonwealth, but that's going to be certainly one of King Charles' priority is spending more time with Commonwealth countries. Paul Workman in London for us this morning. Paul, thank you for that.